Okay, the next section of the car that I'm going to work on is the floor pan. That's the next thing that needs to be done. The floor pan on the passenger side and the where the shifter is, they need to be replaced. It's pretty well rusted. There's a couple rusty spots on the driver's side. I'm going to go ahead and take care of those myself. But I have, uh, I have sheet metal to put on the other side. I can't do that with, with it on the cart. So what my plan is to put the car on a rotisserie. Can't afford that because they're just too expensive. Um, so this is my plan. I'm going to go ahead and make a rotisserie. Uh, you have engine stands on the front and rear or firewall and the tail panel. And you're able to rotate the vehicle to where you can work on it. One good thing about rotating the vehicle, once I get the floor pans in, I can rotate it and totally clean off the bottom, repaint it, and be done with it. The bottom will be done. I won't have to lift the car up at all ever again. I won't have to lift the car up again to work on it, as far as I know. I'm going to do it in three phases. Phase one is going to be construction of the stands and measurements. Measurements of all the tube stock that I'm going to use to support the vehicle. Then phase two is going to be welding. Phase three is mounting the Camaro on the rotisserie. At rotisserie. That, I think, is going to be the hardest point, but we'll see. Here's the first engine stand. I haven't done anything to it. I'll then put it together and just see how it works. And I'm satisfied with it because I'm going to cut it up. I plan to cut the neck off, use 2x4 stock, and then extend the neck. So when I put the car in the rotisserie and I rotate it, it doesn't hit this bar or this extra support down here. That's probably going to get in my way. Anyways, that's what I have so far. And when I get more, I'll let you know. All right, here's another little update. Uh, this is just, I'm mocking it up right now. I'm trying to do a measurement. I'm using, uh, like when I say two by two by two stock, metal stock, it's a eighth of an inch thick. Uh, it's going to go all the way across. The engine stand is going to be welded right here. But this is going to be in between the car and the other long piece of the two by two stock, tube stock. Um, I just have to use this as a measurement so I can spot the holes and then well, or uh, drill through and get the bolts going. So that's where I'm at right now. All right, here's another little update. Uh, I finished drilling the holes through the two by two, right here, 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 and here. And I added the engine mount to it to show you what it's gonna look like. And just picture this red engine mount right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna go get it. I do not have enough room right there, but um, Anyways, that's what, that's what it's going to look like. I think it's going to work out great. Um, if you ever do one of these, make sure this is centered. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and update you now. I went ahead and tack welded everything. Right here, here, the center point of the rotisserie, and right here. Also, I did one side of... Uh, I guess it's going to the uh, the shackle, but uh, I just put it down. There's going to be braces right here, and braces right here for extra strength. And all right, let me show you what we got underneath. And there's the shackle, the two by two. There's going to be a bolt going through there, so it'll hold it in place. And as you can see, it goes down, up, and around. Like I said. This area and this area, there's going to be an angle brace and an angle brace right here. So, and it's going to be all welded. It's just tack welded right now. Hey, I just want to uh, point out that I was watching a video guy. Um, his name is Freddie James. Uh, he works on all sorts of cars. He's been out uh, on YouTube a while. He's got, I think, like 3,000 subscribers or something. I don't know. He does great work. But he suggested putting a lamp on your welding mask, your helmet. And it had worked great. I was able to weld exactly where I wanted 
based on that light. It was it worked out great. So kudos to that. I just wanted to point that out. I know mine looks a little. I just threw some tape on there and taped it on, and it worked out. But I'm gonna do something a little better. But anyways, all right, that's all I got for you for now. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. See you later.